stampers welcome back to my studio this is Deb Valder and I always love having you stop by for some craftiness and today I'm going to show you how to put together one of our snow globes and to show you how a couple of other dies um, interact so beautifully with this set with these sets so um, these are December deals of the day and this is uh, deal number 13 and we are just going to show you all how like I said how they all interact so the main die that we're going to use is the snow globe die so let me just show you that one it has um so many pieces it is a combo you get three dies and they're all in this combo i just want to take them out i like to put them together and um just kind of show you everything that you get in here whoops i'm missing one of them here it is Okay, so these are all the dies that you get with them. So let me just kind of go over them. So this is your base right here for the snow globe. And in this one, you have um, all of these little critters and their little uh, accessories to go along with them. In this one right here, you have a set of uh, pine trees and you have some clouds. You have the snowmen and their accessories. And in this one, I love this one. This I love them all, but this is my favorite one. You've got the little cabin and all the accessories for the cabin. You've got the smoke coming out of it. You've got the little pine trees and you've got the little Santa and his sleigh. So these three interact very nicely together. But what I want to show you today is how they also can be used separately and with other scene builder sets. And we call them scene builders because you can actually take and put them together and make different kinds of scenes. Now you can use these little globes flat onto a regular card if you want to. You don't have to use them as a globe for either tags or ornaments. They can be used separately. And you can, like I said, these are such perfect card size um, elements that it adds anything and everything to your card making. All right, so that's the main set that we're gonna use today. Um, now what I'm going to show you are some of the other pieces. So this right here, everything right here is in the snow globe except for this little guy right here. And these are our small reindeer. Um, they, they work very, very well with these and they also work um, very well with all your cards. They're very card friendly and that's so important um, when you're putting together um, dies and, and kind of interacting with all of them is to just make sure that they are all working together. Another set that we're going to be using is the Let It or I did use, is the Let It Snow, and that's for this right here. It just added so much to it, um, and you'll see where the frame comes. This one, I also used the um, Night Sky, one of our um, slimline, uh, new slimline die, or die, not dies, this is a stamp, all right? So this is one of our new slimline stamps in the cattle, or in the uh, shop. Okay, and then this one right here, I absolutely love. This one has the um, the birch trees. I also got this little deer from there, and I also got the um, little birds, okay? And when I cut things out, you know I always cut out a whole bunch of them and just file all of them, and that way there I have them for a rainy day or just to grab on the go. And then this one, I absolutely love this new slimline die. It has so many elements to it. These two right here are actually the snow. So this is um, just like a, 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 a hump for a snow. And then this one is the jagged snow right there. But let me just show you how gorgeous this little set is right here. So this right here, if you could see these little um, lines right here, actually make... Um, a frame and it actually it makes it look like it's got a mitered corner I actually ran this through the um, lumber uh, embossing folder that we have um, just to make it look like wood it looks gorgeous now let me just tell you I just want to give you a little snippet on that um, the die only comes to here so or the the embossing folder only comes to here so what I did was I ran it through, but then you have this little line right here. So what you do is you run it through again, but you don't run it all the way to the end because you don't want another line. So you're gonna run it through here. You're gonna get that ugly little line here. You're gonna turn it around and you're gonna run it through again and only run it to about here. And that way there, you're gonna not have that little line in there. So that's just a little tip to show you how you can actually use the whole thing um, on a slimline card and um, make it so it looks good all the way through. All right, so we have this, all of these other elements, like the little reindeer right here and all the snowmen um, all come from this, this um, set that we're going to use today from these snow globes. Okay, our snowmen and just really, 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 really pretty. 
All right. So this one right here, what I wanted to show you is, do you see all these little houses and you've got, what is so cool about this is it's got, uh, no matter what way I do this, it's going to be upside down. It's got horses. It's got a star. It's got um, a heart, uh, a moon. It's got some trees. It's even got topiaries for the front porch. You've got little um, lantern or little light post, lamp posts. You've got a flag, clouds. You've got a little picket fence. There's so much in this packed into this one die. It's amazing. So it does cut out the middle. What I do is I just keep it all one whole piece and um, just run it through whatever color I want. And then I just put them in um, an envelope or in a dish and I have all of these pieces ready to go. All right. So that is another very, very versatile um, little die that we have. All right. On special. All right, so now let's get going. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put one together, okay? And I just want to show you how to put these um, little dies together, um, the little snow globes, excuse me, together. But like I said, you can actually do them flat and just um, uh, put them on your cards. All right. So, oh, the other thing I wanted to show you is I do like to keep my um, I do like to keep uh, the cutouts to these because then you can use them as stencils. So if I wanted to do a little stenciled house or a little stenciled um, picket fence, you can do that. A little stenciled heart or star. Um, these, This is my snow right here, one of my snows. This is the other one, okay? So I did one on one side, one on the other side. And then um, this is what the frame looks like. So it's got a little bevel there and a little bevel there and a bevel there and a bevel there. And then what I do is I put our foam tape along the sides just like this so that when you put it onto your card, it literally um, pops up just like a frame and then you've got a framed piece. You could also take and put um, a, a window sheet in here or your acetate inside here and actually make it look like it actually has glass underneath it. So many possibilities in here. It's just fun to play with. All right, so let's just put those away and um, I'm going to show you how to put this together. Okay, so let's start with the base. I'm going to bring in the group of them here so that um, we can just show so I can just show you as we're going along. So this right here is the base and you'll notice that it is different than these because they've got the extra little panels on here and um, that is what makes it different than these right here. And then with these two right here, you'll notice that when you put them together that the trees line up differently. All right. So when you put it all together, um, this is what you have and this is the front of it, and that's how it just nests all together. It's just, it's really a, a, a good little um, setup. So let me just show you um, the base. All right, so when you do the base, all right, you want to make sure that you keep this piece right here. This is the only piece that comes out solid, and that's what we're going to use for our back back piece right here. So this one I used sparkle paper, and this one I used um, just navy blue paper, and I used my gel pen to get the little snowflakes. But today we're going to take and use distressed oxide inks on that one. So this is the base. Now what you would normally think is that this is the front, and you you would want to fold it this way. I'm going to show you um, one of the colored pieces, I think, because it shows you a little bit um, better um, instead of just a white one, it's going to show you. So you would think that you would go this way, but when you do that, this right here is the wrong side. All right. So what you want to do is turn it around what I call backwards. You're only going to do two folds, even though there's little score marks right here. You're not going to score on the middle ones. You're only going to score on the last one here. Okay, and then you're going to score on the last one out here. So what you have is this little well right here with a bunch of little lines. What those lines are, are to help us. You see how they have little lines right here? Well, you're going to take and you're going to fold that like that, and that will line up with one of those little lines. All right, so we'll get to that in just a minute. For right now, what you need to know is you're basically going to turn it backwards and just flip it up, and that is your little um, well right here. All right, so let's do that with this white one. We're going to take this one and we're going to fold it on the crease right there. All right, so that piece is all set and ready to go. Now you can take and you can use colored pieces if you want. So here we have one when I put it together. Isn't that so pretty? And then if we wanted to take um, another one and uh, do it in a different color green or let me just grab um, 
let's see, this is the back one. So let me just grab this one right here for just a minute and I'll show you what I mean. We're gonna take and just fold this over and that can be our back piece right there. All right, let me just show you. So when I put these two together, you see how one is bigger than the other, but they're not going to be real close together. That looks really very pretty. Um, they're not going to be real close together, but um, what we're going to do is just put them there. Now you can also take and turn them around. So if I wanted to do it this way and add this to it, you can see that the trees go in different directions. Just really very pretty. Um, and maybe that's what we'll do on this one. Um, first, we're going to take and we're going to distress oxide this one. So we're going to go back to our main piece right here. I got ahead of myself, but I wanted to show you that... Um, they do come in, in different in different sizes. So let's take and do our background piece right here. We're gonna take a piece of scrap paper and our Distressed Oxide inks here. And I'm gonna start with my yellow. And these are our new blending brushes. They have color, color covers with them. Um, so that's pretty cool. And I'm just gonna take and put some yellow right here in the middle. And that was my squeezed lemon, and now I'm going to take my um, chipped sapphire, and I'm just going to go around the outside of it. And then to blend it back in, I'm just going to grab a bunch of my yellow here and just blend it back in. Okay. And then what I'll do is I'll take my cleaning brush and clean these off and we are good to go until the next time. But I do have a yellow one for my yellows, my a blue one for all my blues and it works out really good. So that is our little background. It's different than the other two. Let me just show you. I tried to show you a bunch of different ones. So this one just has regular paper. This one has um, glitter, glitter paper or uh, sparkle paper. And um, this one is just distressed oxides. All right, so now we have our background. So we have the first two pieces, this one and this one. Now I'm gonna take my little pokey thing and your pokey thing and your picker. So your picker and your poker are gonna be two of your most important things today because, and this isn't even the, one of the reasons we're gonna use it, we're gonna use it um, because it's gonna help us put the whole thing together. All right, so that's gonna fit right inside there like that. So pretty. And then um, the next thing that we're gonna do is put our next layer on. So we've just gotta decide which layer we want and I think we'll just do this white one. Okay, it's got the, remember, it's got the higher, um, it's got the higher line up here, all right? So even if you get these uh, mixed up, um, you can still tell because um, you want this to be in the background, all right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of, I wanna bring in my, my make art station here because we're gonna start doing some gluing all right, so we're going to take this, we're going to take our glue, this is our deluxe glue, awesome, awesome glue, all right, we're just going to take and put a little bit of glue on there. Now remember, this is going backwards, okay, so this is just going to go just like this, okay, and that's going to go right in here like this, okay, so what I'm doing is I'm lining up this line to this line right here, all right? Now what I'm gonna do before I put anything else together is to add this piece right here. And the way you do that, literally, is to just put some adhesive right here and then just add this piece. Now what you wanna do is line up this with this right here and it fits in there perfectly because it came out of there, okay? And then once you've got that in there, just let it dry just a little bit. We'll lift it up, see how it looks so far. Okay, so far so good. Isn't that pretty? All right, and then these little holes right here line up right here to put your little tag in. Okay, now this is where you can take and make it a tag. So when you can put your to, when you're from, Merry Christmas, um, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you need to put on the back here, um, you can put, and, and that's where your sentiment would go. So, so far, so good. Now I'm trying to decide if I want to do the green. I think I will. Well, no, no, because I think I'm going to do snowmen. So I think we'll go with the white. And that one is, 
right here. Now I also wanted to show you, I, I forgot to show you here. This is the piece that came out of here. You never, ever, ever waste paper. So what are you gonna do with this odd piece of paper? This is where I cut out my snowmen, all right? So now it's a piece of paper that you can throw away. I mean, you can probably do that, but I mean, you're really stretch, stretching it there. But you see how that fits right in there? Um, so I took that out, I cut out some snowmen, and um, I save all of them. You know, here's here are, um, uh, lions and tigers and bears and over here we've got cabins and and snowmen and I just save everything all right so um so that was that now let's take the other white piece let's find the other white piece right here and we're going to take and add this one so I'm going to fold this backwards just like that and there's one more line in here okay there's one more line inside here and that's where we're going to put this little guy right here okay that's going to go right there just like that. All right, so let's take this out. Let's put some of our adhesive on here. Like that. And we're gonna add that right here. Let's let it dry just a little bit. And that's lining up with this line right here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my retractable um, poker and I'm going to use, because I don't want to stick my finger in there, I'm just going to take and I'm going to just score it right across here like this, all right, making sure that all of our pieces are all lined up nicely, good, 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 and that should be dry pretty much, now I'm just going to bend them down. So that when we stick them back up again, oops, let's poke this little guy out right here. Oh, we can push this back. It's lethal right now. Okay, that's why I love this retractable one. I've never had one of these before, but I we got it in the shop and I just absolutely love it. All right, so now we have what we have right here are all of our layers. I think what I'm going to do here, let's put the top on our adhesive. I think what I'm going to do is to take um, my water here and a, a, a little brush and I'm just going to take some of our water okay this is our silicone water holder this is our little paint palette here okay and I'm just going to get some water on my brush and just dab it on here and what that's doing you can tell let's, let's open this up just a little bit here there we go. We're just getting some spots on here. There. Like I said, I'm creating this as I go, so it's like doing a live without being live. I mean, I'm live here now, but I'm not live when I'm bringing it to you. Does that make sense? Okay, so now what we're going to do is to start adding our little pieces. So this is where the fun really begins. All right, so what do we want to add? Do we want to add a cabin? Do we want to add um, some of these little guys right here? So let's see. Let's, I haven't added any of the critters yet. So let's just take these out and start putting them together. And if I have white pieces, what I can do is, um, if I have just white pieces, all I have to do is take and color them. That's why I like cutting things out of white. Um, it just, it works pretty good. So let's take this one right here. That is... Um, See, I'm just going to try to bring these in so you can see what I'm doing here. Um, I've got a nice little deer that we can stick inside there. We've got, um, and I do them in different colors too. So there's a there's a light brown and a dark brown. I'm going to try to put together one of these little guys right here because I want to show you one thing. All right, so here is a brown bear. Let's do a brown bear, and. Um, so he has little feet on him too. Uh, let me find his feet. Here they are. Okay, so here's his little feet right here. But you would you want to notice that um, he's got a little hole right there. What I like to do, and let me just show you my card to show you what I mean. You see how on the snowmen, um, their uh, little buttons uh, are black. I didn't color them in. Um, what I did was I used one of our black foam dots underneath it and by putting the black foam dots on there I didn't have to color anything in and I didn't have to save the little circles 
that is a time saver all right so um, I just kind of wanted to show you that and I just wanted to show you how to you can do that with his little nose right there too the little reindeer has some antlers right here so you can put the little antlers right on there is that what they're called antlers I think so you can put little antlers on there I think I got some that are different colors so you can put those on there um, let me see we'll just take and put a, a reindeer I'm going to put this together first and then it's kind of easier I don't do it this way when I'm putting mine together but I think it'll be easier for you to see so all I'm going to do is to take and put I'll do this one a little bit different depending on how much you want to show on the top here uh, or how much um, of a hangy thing you want I'm just going to take and put that like that and then you want to see if you don't if you don't adhere it somehow some way right um oops, let's get this there we go if you don't adhere this like this okay it's going to pop open so you can do a couple different things but what i'm going to do is to just take this and make a little bow you can take and put adhesive there you can take um whatever you want but you just do need to take and kind of Put it together okay we can push that down in just a minute i'm just going to tie a little bow right here like this and you can use any kind of ribbon and i'm just going to move that down there to the bottom and you see how that all stays together isn't that pretty i'll, I'll fuss with the bow in just a minute but um i just want to show you look at how pretty that looks already oh so gorgeous all right so what do we want to do we want to take and put um we could put this little guy on there or I love the cabin let's see what we got oh, let me just show you the cabin because the cabin is um, got a bunch of different pieces to it like I said it's got that snow stack in there or that smoke stack in there it's got um, so this is the it has a backing and then it has a front I'm not going to use these but I just wanted to show you that it does have a, um, a little backing isn't that cute you see how it, it's all done for you and then it's got the smokestack to go along with it I'm just trying to figure out I'm gonna do the deer so I need to put his antlers on so I'm gonna put I think I'll do the darker deer and the lighter antlers I don't know what deers look like okay so what I'm gonna do is just take and put some adhesive right here on the back and add his little antlers right to the back of him just like that I think that's the way they go there we go just like that and then I'll just stick this little guy right here I'll put some adhesive on his little toes and just hold him here for a second there we go Doo -doo 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 -doo. it doesn't take very long for this adhesive to dry and you always want to put the top back on when you're done with it because it will dry out that even even that without the rest of the stuff looks so pretty but i am going to put more to it um that's that's how easy this is to put together um like i said it's got so many pieces to it um i love the cabin and the cabin on a card looks gorgeous along with the clouds they're just beautiful so you can make up your own this is such a fun thing to do and like i said very interactive we've got the deal of the day going on today it's deal deal number 13 so make sure you check that out and we just love having you stop by and and, and spend some time with us make sure you subscribe by clicking on the little bell down there give us a thumbs up and share this with your friends if you have any questions, there's a little I right up there in the right-hand corner. If you click on that, it gets you right to our website. And we've got a blog. We've got um, a shop. Um, we also have all of the descriptions down below of all the products that we've used. And they're also over on our blog post for today. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to get in contact with us. We love hearing from you. You take care. Have a great day. And thank you for stopping by. 